Hey there YouTube, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate and show you how you can use um, a website called Caster.io uh, to live stream to Facebook, YouTube, um, or any other content delivery network of your choosing. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to do it from uh, or using this uh, Amcrest camera. Um, you can, I, I think it'll work with any Amcrest camera, but I'm going to be using um, this particular model, the 96 or 960 P. Um, I have several of these cameras and uh, they work great for all kinds of different purposes. I have one that I actually use on um, my RB hives. Um, I have one that I use um, as a security camera on the front door to keep an eye out for uh, people stealing packages and whatnot. Um, and we also have one that we use on, as a baby camera. Um, so uh, with what I'm going to show you, you'll be able to use one of these low-cost uh, streaming IP cameras uh, to stream directly to YouTube or Facebook or another uh, content delivery network. Um, and you can stream to them 24-7 um, all year round if you want. And it's completely free. So uh, keep watching and we'll get to it. The first thing you want need to do is go to caster.io and create a free account. Um, so I've already done this, but uh, this is the free account that you want right here. Um, it allows you to stream one single stream into it and publish to up to five different locations. So that means you can stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time if you wanted to, um, or most of you will probably just stream to one or the other. Um, but it also has the option to stream to a custom RTMP as well as many other uh, content delivery systems. Um, so I'm going to close this. So I already have my account here. Now the first, first thing we'll do is click this add stream and we're going to say a new restream. So click that and then give it a name. So we're just going to call this test stream and select the region closest to where you're streaming from. Um, so in my case, we're going to use um, New York. So we'll click that and click Save. Wait for it to process and do its thing. Okay, now it's ready to go. It says we're currently offline because we're not sending anything into it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and for this demonstration, I'm going to stream it to uh, YouTube. So I'm going to say click here and click add platform and here's a list of all the different platforms you can stream to. Um, I'm going to click YouTube right here and you can connect it directly with YouTube using this button um, but I prefer to use the uh, stream key method so I'm going to set up with a server and stream key and then um, we need our stream key from YouTube so I'm going to go over to YouTube here and we're going to create an event on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to go into too deep of uh, showing you how to do that. Uh, there's plenty of other videos so um, showing you that. So we're going to just say new live event. And again, we're just going to call this test stream. And we'll go ahead and create the event. Oh, and. I'm going to go back and switch that from public to private so that people don't see what I'm doing right now. And we're going to click save. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm going to go to the ingestion settings here. And you can either do the single use key or the reusable stream key. Uh, for now, we'll just use the single use key. Scroll down here. And here's the stream name. So that's what we want. So I'm just going to copy this and then come back over to uh, Caster and paste that stream key right in here. So paste that and click Save. Okay, next we need to get the link or the uh, address from our camera that uh, Caster is going to pull from to uh, stream your video. So I'm going to have the link for that, um, or not a link, but the, the text that you need in the description. Um, so you can find that there and just copy and paste it and replace 
um, the username and password and your IP address. Um, for this to work, you will need to uh, port forward um, a, one particular port through your router in order for this to be accessible from the internet. Um, and again, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that because everybody's router is different. Um, just Google your the name of your router and how to port forward and you should be able to find it. Um, but on mine, which is a D-Link, it looks something like this. So we go in here to port forwarding and we have port 554 forwarded to the IP address of our camera. So again, you'll need to find the IP address of your camera and to do that you can use the Amcrest uh, utility. Um, once you get that, you'll need to add that into your router and port forward TCP port 554 as well as UDP port 554 um, through to the camera's IP address. Um, so once you have that done, now we'll go back to here and you need to um, switch the default for caster is a publishing point uh, we want to switch that over to a pool so click on pool and and then here's where we need to put in the URL for the camera okay so I, I just uh, like I said copy and paste the uh, link from the description um, as you can see right here it is so um, you need the username and the password of your camera as well as your um, IP address uh, to find your IP address your external IP address um, just type what's my IP what's my IP in the Google and it'll tell you what your external IP address is um, if you're on a dynamic IP address, which most people are, um, that may change from time to time. Um, if you reboot your modem, um, so just keep that in mind. You might need to update this um, unless you have a static IP or if you're using a DNS server or service to uh, give yourself or to redirect your to your IP address. So we're going to copy that IP address and paste that in where it says IP address and and then paste in the whole URL into the pool source. Um, the subtype at the very end of the link uh, if you use zero it will pull the primary uh, video stream from your camera and if you use one it will pull the secondary video stream from your camera. So generally the primary stream is a high quality um, whether you have it set up for 1080p or 720 um, or even higher I believe some of the Amcrest cameras do 4k um, so whatever you have that set up with, with uh, the primary stream is one and the sub stream is zero so once you have that go ahead and click save and it'll say stream pool URL saved and it should start pulling from your camera and there it is so you can see the security camera on the, the front of my house right now and then all you need to do is hit this button to turn that on and start streaming restreaming that into YouTube so we're going to turn that on and it says connecting and then if we come over here to YouTube and we'll just say save changes on that and go to the live control live control room here and now it's grabbing our stream and it looks like it's saying that oh it's it may say bad or um, good depending on the stream um, so you can go ahead and hit preview and we'll say okay okay then once it says start streaming go ahead and click that and say okay and now it's going to start streaming 
and now if you go to the view on watch page you should see the stream give it one second to update here and here it comes and there it is and again uh, this can be used um, for numerous purposes um, say you have a puppy camera um, or a wildlife camera of some sort um, or you could even use it as a, a cloud backup um, like Amcrest has a paid service where you can uh, stream to their server whereas this you can stream it to YouTube and you can indefinitely go, go back and it, it's fairly limited as far as searching or going days back might be hard um, but it gives you a limited way and free way to um, archive your footage um, or you can, like I said, make it into a puppy camera or something of that nature. Well, if you uh, enjoyed this video and found it useful, feel free to subscribe to my channel to receive updates on all my latest uh, videos. I post uh, quite a mix of uh, different videos, um, but hopefully you enjoy them and find them useful. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.